This video will show you the basics to get started, but the jelly plate is all about experimenting. I can't control exactly what a print will look like, and I don't want to. What I learned about jelly printing, I learned from playing. If you get a print you don't like, no worries. Just add more layers. Save the packaging your jelly plate comes in. It will protect it. I spend as little time as possible cleaning in art and life, so my jelly plate is a bit grungy. Since my work surface is covered with paper, I keep one of the plastic films that came with the jelly plate on the bottom because the jelly plate gives off a little oil when on porous surfaces. You will need a rubber brayer. You can see here I don't clean it and it still works great. I do wipe off the excess paint and to do that I am going to use some old dictionary pages as the scrap paper to wipe off that excess paint. It also makes some great backgrounds too. Then I'll need some paper towels and a spray bottle of water to clean the jelly plate after I'm done printing. For paper I am using cheap cardstock from the office supply store. Then you'll need acrylic paint, cheap or expensive, it all works. Squirt the paint directly onto the jelly plate. How much paint you use changes the look of the print. Spread the paint around with your brayer and experiment with using a little or a lot of paint. I'm thinking I want a bit more paint for this. How much paint you use changes the look of the print. Play with it and remember this is just paint and paper, it's not open heart surgery. I do have a habit of pushing too hard when I brayer, so I get lines. When I lighten up on the pressure, the lines disappear. Sometimes the lines give me a cool print too. It's all about experimenting. To clean off the brayer, all I do is roll it onto my scrap paper. Now the fun really begins. Pulling some of the paint off. You can use just about anything you can find. I'm using Punchinella from the hardware store, drywall tape of some kind, I think. You just press it in and pull it up. I go kind of quickly because my cheap paint will dry if I take too long. Now it may look like there isn't much paint on this, but there is. Press the paper down and burnish it with your hands. Then all you have to do is pull it up and reveal the print. A little squirt of water and a paper towel will wipe off the paint residue so it's ready for the next time. Have fun playing with your jelly plate and I'd love to see what you make with it.